Brother Morrow was up talking, and uh, he was talking about you answer to the Lord. Yes. And something come to me, if it helps you, and I hope it does, if you need to make a change in your life, if you need to do an about face, don't do a 360, but do an about face. Yes, yes. If you're walking away from God, turn to him. Hey, that's what's going to save you. Well, hey, listen, this came to me. Do you know you don't owe the world any explanation? No. No. None. No. You don't owe the world anything. No. Preach it, brother. That's Nothing. Right. Nothing. Off of what Brother Moto said last night yes. and today yes. and tonight again. Yes. Listen, he gave you keys to change your life. Amen. To change your life. Amen. And it's so simple. Amen. Look to Jesus. Yes. The one who died on the cross for Listen you. Under him. That's all. He gave the example of Moses lifting up the servant today. Yes. And he said. Those that have been bitten by the snake. Yes. Well, let me help you with that. You were bitten by the snake when Adam fell. Amen. Amen. You were bitten Amen. by the Amen. baddest snake there is. Amen. And you were destined to die Amen. in your sins Amen. because Amen. he fell. Right. Yes, that's the truth. And it's the same as they, the Hebrew. Now, listen, Brother Marlowe brought this point out so beautifully. They had to do something within themselves Amen. to be saved. Amen. Or they would have died. They would have died. Yeah. They had to look towards the serpent on the cross. They had to do that. It took something within them. Listen, listen. All you got to do is be willing. That's it. Walk away. Come on. You don't owe nobody no explanation. Amen. You're going to answer to one person Amen. and him only. Listen, sometimes you just got to do that. Yes. Yes. Don't sit there and listen to the garbage coming out of your mouth. Uh, Amen. Don't sit there and be a part of what they're partaking of. Come on, come on. Yeah. Don't sit there and be a part of a place they're going. No. Amen. Just simply walk away. Yeah. Hey, yeah. sorry, I can't stay here. I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta go. something. After hearing what I heard today, yeah. after hearing what I heard last night, yeah, right. I believe if I put forth the, 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 uh, 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 let me get this right. Oh. If I put forth the, the, uh, sacrifice, yeah. maybe, maybe I don't know if that's a good one or not, because he sacrificed all. Amen. I don't know if sacrifice for me means the same to him, because he gave it all. Amen. But if I, can turn away. Brother Marlon said, Behold, all things Amen. are become are, are become new. Yeah. Well, everything oh, in the past oh, it's in the past. Yeah. So don't drag it up to me again. Oh, it's in the past. Yes. Yes. Listen. Um, there's a song we sing, it's a beautiful song. I have nothing against that. Love it to death because sometimes that helps people go forward. But it says, uh, I've come too far to look back. Look back. what I came through. Amen. But more importantly, I appreciate what got me through it. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you another little secret. Yeah. yeah, I've come too far to come back, to yeah. look back. Yeah. But I'm more excited about what I'm fixing to go through. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I'm more excited for what I'm fixing to happen. Yes, Lord. And that's what pushes me on. Amen. Listen, Amen. you know, it could be any moment. Yes. It could yes. be any second. Yes. It could be any day. Yes. It could, what's the song? Could be 
while I'm singing this song? Yes, Lord. I don't know. Eternity's always present. But my God, it could be any time. Any time. Thank you, Lord. I, I want to tell you something. I appreciate, and uh, I don't know how to say this Go ahead. without it sounding like I'm boasting. Turn it loose. And, uh, Go ahead. Come on. I don't mean for it to sound like I'm boasting. Come on. I just mean to simply say I'm in a very privileged place. Oh. Place. Yeah. You can say it's not physical, whatever. What you can say it's the people, it's the ministry. I will definitely agree with you. But let me tell you something. When you're in a bad way, when you're in dire straits, when you're in a dilemma, listen. Listen. I'm going to just tell you the way I see things. Um, Brother Mark, you need to straighten me out. You know you can. But uh, if you need repentance in your life, if you need um, um, to get a hold of God and work things out between him and you, well, there's altars right there. And I'm going to tell you something. If you think coming up here and getting this man to go between you and him is going to help you, okay, that's you. But I'm going to tell you, you need to humble yourself and go to these benches and get a hold of God for yourself. Now, having said that, having said that, I'm talking about repentance, okay? But I'm talking about if you need a healing, if you're going through a bad way and you need some help, listen, there are men, and I'm going to tell you because I'm standing down here when they were praying for Brother Ferris, and there were men filled with the Holy Ghost that had an authority in them. Yes. I said had an authority in them. The Holy Ghost gives you a Holy Ghost authority over everything. Everything. Don't shorten God. Listen, don't shorten God. Oh, what I'm going through is just too bad. Listen, you need a new experience. You need to look onward and upward and look at what's coming. Don't dwell in your past because that's what you're doing. Okay? Um, I love the Lord. I appreciate the Lord. I heard Brother Wallace last night. Brother Marlo said it again tonight. You know what? Good things are very repeating. So I'm going to repeat it again. You can make it! You can make it! never been um, so charged up. You know, listen, um, listen, in school, when I was in school, um, I wasn't the quickest. Wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. But, uh, and you may have had to read it to me once or twice, but when I got it, you couldn't change it. When I got it, you couldn't change it. And it may have took me once or twice. It may take you once or twice. But when you get it, hang on to it. That man of God just told you how to have victory in your life. How to rise above everything down here. He did. It's real simple. You just turn and walk away. You don't owe them a, you don't owe them a response. You don't owe them anything. Listen, when it starts, are you listening? My God, I want to get eye level with you. Are you listening? When it starts, turn and walk away. You don't have to tell them why you're walking away. You don't have to tell them nothing. Just simply the Lord. But I'll tell you this, when you walk away and you don't sit there and you don't listen to Sam Ballot, Tobiah, yeah. and Geese, right. God will honor you. Yes. Did you hear me? Yes. God will honor you. Just turn and walk away. And rely 
on this Holy Ghost. Listen, if you just pull it out when you're in service and feel the goosebumps and the yeah. Oh, my Lord. You're not using it to your best potential. Amen, brother. I'm telling you, there was a song saying last night that said Jesus will never let you walk alone. He will go with you through anything. Ask me how I know. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make it real clear. I'm living in victory. Yeah. I'm living in victory. Yeah. I said victory. Yeah. All right. I appreciate the Lord. All right. Listen, don't bring up my junk. Don't do it. Because I'm not going to stand here and listen at it. God's done something for me. He's done something for you. He's done something for you. Praise Are you the same young people that you were a year ago? No. Were you? Go say it. Say it like you're through. Come on. No, sir. Are you the same young people that was here a year ago? No. No, sir. What's the difference, young people? What is the difference in you from now to a year ago? Jesus. It ain't what I've been telling you in the youth. It's the Holy Ghost that lives inside of you. Listen, I'm watching young people step out from the crowd. You understand what I'm saying? I'm seeing them step out from the crowd. Listen, the, uh, the uh, same old, same old, it just ain't good enough no more. Come on, brother. And they know, they know there's a difference. And they know when they take a stand for God. Yeah. Who am I preaching to? You or the young people? I don't know. <laughs> when you take a stand, yeah. when you take That's a stand right. for yeah. God, yeah. Yeah. Amen. He will make up the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He'll make up the difference. Yeah. 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 All right. yeah. Church, I love you. Amen. I appreciate you. Yeah. I hope what I said encouraged you. Yes. But when Brother Marlon was up here, man, that... Excuse me, I don't mean to say that, but brothers and sisters, that hit me. Right all right, all right. You don't owe this world not an explanation. You don't have to explain why. Just turn and walk away. That's all. That's all. Just turn and walk away. And I want to say, how great is your God? How good is your God? Oh, my God. He walks with me every day of my life. You know what? For eight weeks now, I haven't been able to read my Bible because my eyes haven't fully recovered yet. And uh, I called Brother Rhodes, and I told him, I said, Brother Rhodes, it's hard for me not to eat the book because I love the book. Yes, the book is what changes you. Don't you understand yeah. that? Amen, brother. It's the book. It's the word. It's the conviction of what yeah. you're reading that goes yeah. down in your heart yeah. that causes the change. Yes. If you just read that book and it's just like any other book, listen, my daughter can read a 500-page book. That's a book about like that in about two days. And I told her, I said, baby, that is wonderful. I love the fact that you love to read because it will benefit you in so many levels. Yes. But I said, you know what you need to try? Try the Bible. Amen. Try to read the Bible like that. That's right. Just eat it up. Yeah. Just eat it up. Yeah. Just read it. It'll sink down inside. But if you can read the Bible, and it's just like any other book, oh, my Lord, you're not doing something right. Try praying before you read. I love you, church. God, I love you. I love you. I love you. I want to lay down anything, Brother Marlo, that even remotely smells like the flesh in Dean Harris's life. Because I don't want it to be Dean Harris no more. I don't. But I want to be a called out, chosen child of God. I love you. If I've done anything to anyone, please, if I have not said I'm sorry, if you think this is not genuine enough, Please come to me. I am sorry if I've ever led you astray. 
And I believe that's the biggest sin you can ever do is lead somebody away. I believe it is. Now, I, I can't show you scripture and verse, but if you deter somebody from looking up to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, I think that's just the worst thing you could ever do. And if I've ever done that, if I've ever offended anybody, if you've ever heard me speak out of time, uh, seen my attitude, uh, please, please, oh my God, please, please, Lord, let them forgive me. Let them forgive me. Because I don't want nothing. I don't want to do nothing but lift you up. I don't want to do nothing but encourage you. It's worth it all, church. It's worth it all.